Section J is a provision um, of the National Construction Code. Uh, it's in Volume 1 and Volume 2, and it's uh, where the National Construction Code focuses on energy efficiency. Quite sensibly, it's not about the individual elements, a window here, walls there, a door over there. It's about the performance of the whole envelope. It's the performance of the whole wall. In commercial building products, there will be more stringency when it comes to energy efficiency. We're, having a, we're going to have a more holistic approach to the entire building envelope. So building products like thermally broken frames will have a much larger role to play in terms of the overall performance of building envelopes. If you've got a window to wall ratio above 30 to 40 percent, by default you're looking at what is now top of the range products on the market. One of the major challenges moving forward is going to be the adoption of higher performance curtain walling systems. Every apartment building, every office building, every supermarket, every retail centre will have to perform a lot better. One particular element of that is the spandrel system. The spandrel system is the opaque, the wall system in the system, so vision, wall. That area there is surrounded by a frame and the energy inefficiency of that is extreme. So in National Construction Code 2019, they have set a minimum backstop for that value of that spandrel. So tomorrow's market in 2019, National Construction Code will uh, aim to provide resolutions to that. And again, the thermally broken systems are the bits that are going to allow that minimum backstop to be met. Yes, you can have lots of glazing, but you need to make sure that it's at a higher grade, a higher level, a higher resistance level, and you have to make sure that everything else that's in the wall complements it and performs really well. The impact uh, overall has a, uh, a target of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, it's, I think it's around 35%, which is a great thing to strive for. An additional level which is going to be realised is thermal comfort. There is a hardened psyche in Australians that seem to want to tough it out in winter. Europeans don't tough it out in winter. We turn on heating and we're very comfortable. In our colder climates here in Australia, we've adopted to uh, a practice of specifying thermally broken systems. In our warmer climates such as Queensland, that's going to be a growing market uh, and it's going to have to adopt to ignore the benefits of a good double glazed product and a good framing system is probably flies in the face of good sustainable design. If we project forward to five years time, we're gonna to start to have a much higher quality building stock as a result of this. And that's exciting because that's what we're all in the industry to do, to produce better buildings. So we get better outcomes uh, from an engineering and from a design perspective. Unless you want small windows in a future commercial building, you're going to have to, to use a performance-based solution in as far as you're looking at thermally broken windows such as our thermal heart. We have one of the widest ranges of products available in the Australian market, manufactured here in Australia and designed by Australian designers. The reason why it's freaked a few people out is because sometimes the market hasn't got the products to meet that requirement, whereas AWS Thermal Heart actually meets that requirement. So it's like, why not start specifying it now? <laughs>